Hello, welcome to another Terraria 1.2 video. This time around, I've been grinding the Queen Bee for a long ass time. Basically, I wanted to get as many sort of, I don't know, the rare drops, I guess you could call them. Uh, any and all drops that I could, like, think of that every boss drops. So that includes, like, the trophies, um, I'm still trying to get the binoculars from the Eye of Cthulhu. They're like a 0.1, I don't know, 0.1% drop rate or something for those. But um, my goal from this, since I already had the trophy and every other bee drop, was to get the nectar, which is a um, summoning item which allows you to get a pet hornet. Um, I must have killed about 35 bees before I decided you know what, I'm going to just grind out a load of uh, abomination bee summons because I figured it's probably going to be easier in the long run, which it kind of was, now that I think about it. Um, so you need like a, you need um, a jar of honey, the honey blocks times five, and the hive blocks times five. Um, I can't even remember the rest of the stuff you need, but I know the main problem was getting crispy honey blocks because you need to either put honey on lava or lava on honey. So uh, there I was with my bucket of lava trying to convert as much honey as I could into the crispy honey and I eventually made enough to make um, a good 30 more of the abominations. Um, prior to that I'd done 20 more. Uh, and then I must have killed several bees in my own world and in another world that I just went looking for bees to kill. So once I'd made all of them I decided I'd, yeah, I decided I'd go to the jungle because I think you can only summon the queen bee in the jungle. So I just made this crude little platform just to repeatedly murder the queen bee. Um, I didn't start recording right from the start of this, so I probably should have waited to record, but I didn't want to miss a drop in case I did get it. And as you can see, I do uh, break out some of the other weapons just because, like, the bee nades are pretty fun to use. Just launch them onto the floor and then bees go chasing the queen bee all over the place. It makes me laugh a little bit. Um, aside from that, the queen bee is really easy. Uh, it's just summoning her, which is the pain in the backside. And once you've actually got all the equipment, that that's, takes the longest time. Killing her didn't take much long, I, don't, I can't remember, probably half an hour. Just to burn through as many as I could in one night. Um, just, you could do this with even less good items, really. Less good, that's terrible English. But uh, I like my Phoenix Blaster, I think it does quite a decent amount of damage. Um, I switched it up to the Water Bolt, because I quite enjoy using the Water Bolt. Um, the B Gun really isn't great, but I used it a couple of times just because. Uh, but you, you really don't need the high-end armor to beat the Queen Bee. You can dodge those uh, charging attacks that she does. Uh, other than that, just make sure you kill the little bees she summons and... Um, Try and dodge as many of her little stingers that she fires out as you can, and you can pretty much do it. You don't need 400 health, and you don't need the best items at all. I'm I'm in the molten gear, and you just don't need that. And there we go. After I don't know 50 kills in total, maybe I'm not entirely sure. I finally got the nectar, and uh, I can't remember what percentage of the nectar is. It's probably something stupid like 5% though. Uh, but there you go, it's a cute little hornet that follows you around. The only annoying thing I found out about it is if you're digging and there's lava around, you constantly get the little splashing noise as the hornet gets trapped in the lava and it's splashing around, and the same probably goes for water as well. But uh, yeah, expect another Terraria video uploaded soon. Um, I'll see you next time with potentially another pet.